okay, so I was, so, so you think they should be allowed to abort if they're raped? No, I don't think that, like, Okay, so they're if, not. like, so if they were passing a law that says women who are raped can't abort, would you support it or not? Like, right now what you're telling me is that you would support it, right? No, I'm not saying that, like, I, Okay. I just want to know what your like actual yeah, stance no. on it is, because if you're out here protesting, like showing all these people, like yeah, I'm pro life and everything, you have to have, you know. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Your opinion on yeah. It. It's, still... it's a very controversial topic, you know. The yeah, rape. it is a very. So controversial. I really want to know what what you think. Yeah, like if women get raped, like they still shouldn't be able to abort their okay, baby. Why is that? Like, they're gonna hate why the child still, for the rest of the life. They're gonna hate the child because that child came from not love. Why should they have that baby if, if that's not even Christian? I am against Jesuit. abortion unless it's for rape, incest, or life of the mother. Parents want you to hear. Did you get one of these? No, thank you. So, what's your opinion on when women get raped? What's my opinion on when women get raped? Hey, Jordan. Hey, man. Yeah. What's your opinion? Mm -hmm. um, I'm pro-life, but un unless then, she's a braver life than the mother. So you're pro-life unless she doesn't want the child? No, unless she's raped. Let me ask but you a question. Okay, let me ask you a question. Are all babies made in the image of God? Are you a Christian? Okay. Okay. Are all life, all people made in the image of God? According to his word. According to his word, I guess. Okay. So do you believe his word? Yes. Okay. So if you believe that all babies, all people are made in the image of God, what gives you the right to murder another individual? What gives us the right to tell that lady? No, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Okay? You're talking to me. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking about us. Because there's lots of people here that profess not to believe in God. You profess to believe in God. So I'm talking to you, right? Okay. So what gives you the right to say, yeah, I know that's what God said, but I don't agree? Hmm? What do you mean? I don't know. God's words. So you think freedom of speech trumps what God's word says? Trumps? Yeah. Yeah. Trumps what God's word says. Yeah. yeah. Trumps means not Trump Donald. Trumps mean it, uh, it rules over the word of God. Triumph. That's another good word. Okay. You see, God's word says that thou shalt not murder. It doesn't say thou shalt not murder unless you were raped. Or unless your parents will kick you out of the house. Right? It says thou shalt not murder. So the, the, the heart of the matter here, ma'am, is whether you believe in God's word. Okay, well, not even because, okay, okay, I believe you're a Christian, yes? Yes, ma'am. I'm a Catholic, okay. What about those who yeah. aren't Christian or Catholic? What are you going to tell them? The same thing. Go, just because they don't believe in God doesn't mean God does not exist. Just because they don't believe in God does not mean that God is not that Jesus is not Lord. Just because they don't believe in God does not mean that they will not stand before him and be judged by him. See, Jesus says that we are to go and give the truth. Now what you do with the truth, that's up to you. Correct? Okay. So now God's word says uh, in the Old Testament that no man shall be put to death for the sins of their children. And no children shall be put to death for the sins of their parent. Correct? Now, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What if the mother's giving labor, right? And it's either her life or the child's life. Okay. What would you do then? Like, what would you tell them then? I want to abort this kid because I don't want to die. Okay, first off, that's one of those pro-choice slogans, all right? Because 99.99% are not in that condition. Okay, what okay? about the 1% that is? No, the 0 .01%. 0 .01 percent. Okay, the 0 .01, you treat them both. If you have a woman who's going to die unless she has a child, unless she aborts this child, okay, 
You treat the woman as a patient, you treat the child as a patient. So now, if the child, no, did I say that? Well, that's what's going to happen. No, yeah. that's not what's going to happen. You are going to treat both, you are going to treat both as people. Now, if the child dies, the child dies. But that is not you saying, I want to commit murder. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. See, you're looking for a loophole that does not exist in God's word. It exists in real life. So you're saying that real life triumphs over God's word. I'm living in it. You're, you're living in it, but your life is but a blink of an eye, all right? You will stand before God. You do not know what day you will die. Neither, none of us do. God's word says, none of us knows the day, the hour, the minute that we shall die. And when we die, we will stand before him immediately. You're not going to go to purgatory. You're not going to go to a waiting room. You're going to stand before him. And he will judge you. And he will not judge you by saying, so what did you think about He's going to judge you by, this is what my word says. Did you believe and do? Or did you say, well, this is real life? You see, you can't, you can't have it both ways. Okay, now my main question is, why here? Why here? Because one in three people here will kill their child. In high school? In high school, in college, in that neighborhood there. Oh, we actually do, ma'am. We actually do. Why? Is the truth bothering you that much? No, the truth doesn't bother me, us. I mean, it hasn't bothered us. You guys are still here protesting. How long have y'all been here? Actually, we're not protesting. This, this is, is called is. calling out the truth. This is what is biblical. Which is the definition protesting. of protesting. No, actually, it's not, ma'am. Okay, okay. Like, I'm trying to stop you from doing something that will condemn you. Honestly, to me, if I wanted to abort a baby... I would not do it, but if it came to that choice where I'm going to die and my baby's going to die with me, mm -hmm. then I'm going to abort the baby for me to live mm -hmm. so I can live. Right. And, and that's what God's word says, that you're supposed to put yourself above somebody else, right? No, that's not what it says. Okay. No greater love is there than this, that a man lays down his life for his friend, for his neighbor. Jesus said, what is the great, Jesus was asked, what are the greatest, what is the greatest commandment out of all the whole Bible? Okay. And Jesus said, you are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second is just like it. You are to love your neighbor as yourself. You don't want to die, correct? So you're going to say, I'll, I don't want to die, so I'm going to kill this person. That is not loving your neighbor as yourself. That is loving yourself more than your neighbor. So you agree that these pictures, these images are graphic, yes? They're very graphic. They are very graphic. They're the truth. You're finding 13-year-olds here. There's some 13-year-olds here, 13, 14, 15. There's actually younger kids driving by. There, yeah. there are. Mm -hmm. Why? You're letting them see Why this. See them too? I'm letting them see the truth. Why show them this? Okay, and I'll tell you what. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, a three-year-old will walk up to this and say, what happened to the baby? An adult will lose their mind, like you are. See, what happened, what happened when General Eisenhower liberated Auschwitz? He walked in with General MacArthur, uh, not General MacArthur, General Patton and General uh, Bradley. They walked in and saw what, what happened. So what did they do? They say, oh, hurry, get rid of the bodies. No. What they did was they went into the town and they grabbed all the people in the town and they made them walk past it and see what they did. And unfortunately, ma'am, you have to see it too. Okay? You claim to be a pro-life Catholic. What does that look like? You're actually out here, a Catholic pro-life person, arguing when it's okay to kill your child. I would recommend that you really search your heart and search the Bible. Because that's where you're going to find the truth. Both ways. You're going to find the truth of God in, in the Bible. You're going, to try the, you're going to find the truth of what's in your heart if you search it. 
See, God knows the heart. His word says he knows your heart. He knows my heart. When they asked him, what about eating clean foods? He said, don't worry about that what? stuff. No, 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 I don't, okay, I don't care. Judge me all you want. I'm don't. not going to judge you, man. I'm telling you what the word of God says. No, 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 judge me. If you feel convicted, that's on you. you. Why are you showing them this graphic stuff right when we're going to school? Didn't I, did you just hear me? Your parents get to show did you just hear me? Own time. What if they're not ready to see all this? Did you just hear me? Explain to you what they did in the Nazi concentration camps. Did, when when they outlawed slavery, the way they outlawed slavery was by showing people pictures of what slavery looked like. Because most people will be here driving by. If they don't see this, they're going to go on and 3,000 more will die today. In the five minutes we've sat here, 10 babies have died. Two every minute in this country. Two every minute. And that's just the ones we count. See, in Florida and New York and California where they kill most, they don't count those numbers. And even in the country here, that 3,000 a day, they do not count those that are killed by RU486, the abortion pill. Nor do they count the ones that are killed by Plan B at Walgreens and Walmart. I didn't hear what she said. I'm old, I'm not young like you guys. I don't have such a... You see, this is a woman who wants you to stay in the dark. And unfortunately, unfortunately... So if you know what's going on, what are you doing? You said you were Catholic and pro-life and you're actually out here arguing for the fact that sometimes you can kill your child, okay? And Catholics consider themselves Christians. So I'm going to ask you, what exactly does your Christianity look like in a culture that murders over 3,000 babies? That's right. And unfortunately, ma'am, when you stand before God, you're not going to be able to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you.